Welcome back to IGCSE ICT paper. We will be carrying on to paper 3 about spreadsheet for October November 2023. 20, so we finished with the website or authoring already and the video is already uploaded. We will be doing right now the spreadsheet. So in the spreadsheet you are going to create a spreadsheet to calculate the income and expenditure of the sanctuary of for one year. All currency values must be displayed in Tawara dollars. In Tawara so that's an important point which is supposed to be in dollar and it's supposed to be two decimal places. So we're supposed to open this file and we need to examine this file. So let me open that file. It's not this file, it's this file. So adjust it and what you can see here we have the income part here and there is expenditure part and then here we're going to have about profit and loss and balance. All right. In the income, you're going to find there is some income from the entrance fees, from the shop, from the feeding, from donations, and then we can get its total, which definitely will be the summation of each row. For the expenditure, the, for the staff, for the feeding, for the utilities, and then the total of each of those expenditures. And then we have to calculate this according to what uh, facts and data they will give us later. So that's the examining for this part. Um, okay. And then Save this spreadsheet as this following name, to DGS, center number and candidate number. For example, this following name. I have already saved it. And when you save it, make sure that it is saved as Excel sheet, workbook Excel. Okay, make sure it is not in CSV format because if it is in CSV, everything will be erased, formatting uh, formulas all will disappear. And then in the header section, we need to put on the left side, uh, the name, center number, candidate number, and the right side, the path, together with its file path. So here is the file I have already done so far in it, but I'm going to explain. So here is the file that I resaved it. And then you have to go to view, click on page layout. On the right side, uh, on the left side, you have to put the name and candidate and center number. And on the right side, you have to go to header and footer, and you have to click on file path it's going to appear in this way but mine because the path is really long because I'm storing in so many subfolders so it's appearing like that make sure it is not in too many subfolders just save it in D or E or desktop and it should appear in a short way and better than mine it shouldn't be looking like this bad okay after that insert two columns to the left of column A so you can see here it is actually supposed to be till here. I inserted these two columns and then I inserted this month. Okay. To add the months, I have to type them, all the previous information. For the months, I, I, you can do like that. Okay. Just type the first month and then drag or replicate the rest. Okay. Uh, make sure whenever you're in the part of formatting, do not take a lot of time. That's one thing. And I think try to do it as exact, as accurate as possible, because you can, this is the easiest part, which is just copying the format and looking. So try to make it as accurate as uh, possible and as fast as possible, and you can get those full points, because this is the easiest part of the spreadsheet. So let me tell you what things I did over here. B, H, M, they're in small size. And then these are bold and look for the alignments as well and then I merge these uh, columns and I merge here two rows and all of these are in black background and white uh, font and the size is 16 because it is mentioned here it's supposed to be 16 and careful about the alignments as well alignments are important right left center and however it is try to adjust it from all from here after you're done with the formatting right now I'm done from here so let's carry on together so in number 11 place in cell g4 a function to calculate the total income of the month January so here is g4 we need to get the total of all January so simply it is just sum and that's it next one l4 is of calculate the total expenditure for the month of January again same thing it's just the sum of the expenditures and that's all 
13 place in cell N4 formula to calculate the profit for the month of January so we need to get here the profit of the month of January so that's in N4 okay let me place it over here so how will be N4 N4 is going to calculate the profit the profit is the total income minus the total expenditure for this month so income minus expenditure so that's the total income minus the total expenditure oh um, it's not appearing because I haven't replicated the others so okay so uh, I'm just checking I didn't make any mistake all right great that's so far so good then question number 14 place in cell O4 formula to calculate the balance at the end of January okay so that's in O4 that means it's over here okay formula to calculate the balance at the end of January this is the balance from the month before so that's going to be the balance from the month before and then add it to this month's profit or loss so that's supposed to be the balance from the month before okay plus the profit or loss from this month all right after that right now we need to replicate all those previous steps so let's start with this total and then with this total and then with this total make sure you're having three negative values and then the balance all right there is one thing here make sure okay i shouldn't replicate yet or let it be okay here this balance is uh, a fixed value we need to refer to it for each month okay so for example notice here for me it shouldn't be from the previous one it should be from that one the balance of the previous month is supposed to be for this previous month not this one so we need to do uh, we need to refer this as an absolute value all right but n4 or profit or loss it could be a relative value it keep keep uh, it doesn't matter if it keep going with the cell so all right so if you double click you can see this is fixed while this one is relative and it keep moving with us all right all right let's go to the next point apply appropriate formatting for all the numeric data so you can see all of these are currencies and it's supposed to be in dollar control and press over this one as well and go to right click format cell and go to currency and cho choose as they mentioned in the question paper to be dollar and it's supposed to be uh, United States and it's supposed to be two decimal places all right we got it apply conditional formatting to all cells in the range n4 to n15 okay we need to apply conditional formatting to these cells in the profit and loss that contains a negative number as it is shown as a white text on a red background all right so to do so we have three negative points here it's supposed to show in a red uh, red color with a white text so click on new cell or new rule but make sure you're selecting all this click new rule and uh, you can use format that contain this value okay so cell value contain this cell value and it's supposed to be less than zero so whatever less than zero is supposed to be negative and then format it to be in red color and the font supposed to be white all right you will get three values uh, in negative place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the conditional formatting rule cell range and format so let's get back again here just click over manage rule and we need to show this uh, this uh, what they mentioned in the question paper evidence they show in the conditional formatting rule cell range so you need to see the rule 
the cell range and the format as well so all the possible points put them all right i'm going to take a screen capture in this way actually the cell range is already clear here so write down step number 16 evidence 4 and paste it one more thing i can take also is click over the uh, condition and then edit the rule and you can take a screen capture of this as well so alt and print screen it will take a capture only for this and go and paste it over here all right number 18 save your spreadsheet print the spreadsheet showing the formula so let's go save it control s for uh, in formula formula here show the formula okay when you click over this make sure to adjust it a bit so it will be clear for you to see this make sure the row and column headings are displayed okay let's go right now in the printing way as if we're going to print right now and then we can save it as a pdf so click on print so we made it show the formula and then row and column headings are displayed so go to page setup sheet row and column so you can see the row and columns are uh, appearing page orientation is landscape so from here you can make it landscape uh, the contents of all cells are fully visible and can easily be read there is a balance here it's not appearing so what we can do in the scaling part here fit on one page so you can see it's all the data right now visible we can read it the good thing is my long path is visible here so that's a advantage okay after that go and click on print or if you don't have a printer in the current moment in your exam you can just select adobe pdf and save it as a a pdf file i'm usually going to call it print out one and make sure let me first name it print out one and make sure that this is my previous paper so just make sure it is saved in the specific place that you're working in your work area okay i'm going to save it still working on it okay all right can you see formula is visible and everything is readable and visible oh wait a minute all right the dollar signs is not visible because this is just a formula and that's why it's not visible all right the next point show the values so let me get back again here remove it and show the values you can see the dollar sign is visible again the printout fits on one single landscape page so let's go ahead print landscape so it is a landscape and it's supposed to be on one single page i will get back to this here it is fitting on one page the previous one didn't mention that it's supposed to fit on one page or not so even though it is on two pages three pages that's fine uh, the row and column not displayed so back again to the setup sheet and untick this row and column setting so it disappeared the contents are fully visible and can easily read so everything is clear make sure your those uh, small uh, columns are in a small or the formatting is applied you have to make sure of those points all right and this is supposed to be our second printout i will just call it printout two the october donations were entered incorrectly
in October donations were so it's supposed to be forty two point ten dollar correct this in your spreadsheet and print it showing the values so again let's go back again to October donations and it's supposed to be 42 not 41 you can see there is fourth negative value and it's supposed to be in a value so keep it as value then click on print and print out fits on a single landscape so that's a uh, landscape Wrong columns are not displayed, so they are not displayed according to the last setting. The contents of all cells are fully visible and can be easily read. So that's print out three. The only difference between two and three that the, there is a, a fourth negative value here. All right, so. All right, you can see one, two, and three. All right, so the last thing is about printing the evidence document. Make sure that your name, center number, candidate number appear on every page of your evidence document, as we added already here in the very beginning of the first video. Save your evidence document and print your evidence document. So control S, let me save it and make sure to print it out and make sure your font is not too small as well so make sure of every single point make sure of the evidence name is directly followed with its answer it's not like in weddle or orphan issues happening so that's the end of this question if you have any questions or comments you can put it in the comment section bye bye